Cracking down in the air and on the water, federal agents are putting a stop to drug traffickers from all over the world attempting to smuggle narcotics and guns into America. Simon Chaykhead takes us along for a closer look at what's being caught here in southeast Michigan. The last year has been extremely busy for federal agents on the front lines defending America. And as you're about to see, the COVID-19 pandemic has not slowed the drug trade. We've all taken an oath to support and defend this country. Director Mark Sledge with the Great Lakes Air and Marine Branch of U.S. Customs and Border Protection says he's incredibly proud of his team's work defending America. Working with Homeland Security Investigations, FBI, DEA and other agencies, They've captured and seized a large amount of illegal drugs and guns entering into the U.S. Mexican cartels are a majority of it. Um, it's come in from all over the world um, and it's dangerous. 163 pounds of fentanyl. Um, if that made it to the streets with the potency of that, I mean, that can kill up to 20 million people. In the skies and on the water, they go as far as Sault Ste. Marie, Port Huron, Sandusky, Ohio, Erie, Pennsylvania, Buffalo, and Rochester, New York, and Chicago. Over 4,000 miles of border, but their main branch is based here at Selfridge Air National Guard Base in Macomb County. We're monitoring uh, the lakes and the rivers uh, very closely. Uh, border Patrol has a lot of technology to help monitor that 24-7 um, when we're not around on the water or if they're not on the water. So, um, it's just a, it's a cat and dog kind of game out there. And uh, they're getting desperate out there. So they're using a little bit more over tactics out there. And hey, we're doing our job and catching them. In nearly 5,000 flight hours and more than 5,300 hours on water, the stats are impressive. Taken off of boats and planes, more than 9 million in cash, almost 1,000 pounds of cocaine, more than 340 pounds of meth, and 214 weapons seized, along with 182 people apprehended and one person rescued. Above all, brave men and women involved in this work are committed to working together as part of a calling. Fly our aircraft over the uh, waterways and land borders routinely, and if we see something from the air, because uh, we can obviously cover much more terrain, we're radioing that down to our partners on the water and on the and the land borders as well. National security operations are also part of their work, keeping people safe at the Kentucky Derby, the Super Bowl, the Indy 500, and the State of the Union. Simon Shaykhat, Seven Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon. We're gonna.